Hello everyone, Mirajfla here. Today we'll be talking about the three infantry-based anti-tank teams for Rise and Conquer in each of the three factions. First one will be the Carcian Tank Hunter team, second one will be the Grenadiers of the Northern Federation with the RML-93, and the last one will be the Assyrian Taskmaster Squad upgrade of the anti-tank package. The Carcian anti-tank team starts off with anti-tank rifles, the ability to plant anti-tank mines, and can camouflage when in cover for first strike bonuses to increase their penetration. These rifles have good range, but limited damage. When Escalation 2 is upgraded for the Carcians, tank hunters can swap between their anti-tank rifles and anti-tank rocket launchers. These rocket launchers deal high damage, but have much lower range as not shown here in the video. Depending what weapons the tank hunter team is using, the squad gets two different abilities. With anti-tank rocket launchers, they can immobilize enemy armor at short range. When using anti-tank rifles, they can cripple the sight of an enemy vehicle for a period of time, which also reduces its effectiveness. The range is also much higher on this ability compared to the immobilization ability. It should be known that the tank hunter team is a specialist unit, and outside of its anti-armor role, they do not excel at anything else. Furthermore, their high manpower costs, along with reinforce, makes them bleed easily if they're caught in the open, especially by other infantry. For Northern Federation, Grenadiers need to be upgraded with anti-tank missile launchers. However, when they are upgraded, they put out very high DPS with accurate missile fire. Not only do Grenadiers have a lot of firepower, they have two abilities that help them against armor. The MP grenade from the grenade package allows them to stun enemy vehicles that get caught in the explosive radius. While not effective against fast moving vehicles, it can deter armor from pushing in. Furthermore, Grenadiers have an inbuilt ability called Mark Target that makes the enemy unit take additional damage from all sources, making Grenadiers a very powerful support unit for the rest of the Federation line. For the Assyrians, infantry based anti tank is found on the Taskmasters, who are their mainline infantry. They can be upgraded to the anti tank package when the captain has been researched from the Infantry Operations Center. It should be noted that when Taskmasters are upgraded, they're not meant to be a counter. They're meant to be a deterrence against enemy armor. This is emphasized by their ability to cause a crew critical on vehicles with their special ability that limits its effectiveness for a period of time. Furthermore, Taskmasters are more numerous than Grenadiers or Tank Hunters due to their role as mainline infantry. Just before I end this video, I am going to say that this should not be a conclusion of what you will see in the mod I am working on. Some things still need fine tuning, and there's a lot of work that still needs to be done. And we still don't have the ability to put in models yet. But anyways, this is Mirage Fly, signing off.